In this video, we will learn how to create this amazing dispersion effect just in a single click using Photoshop CS6 Extended. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Dhanan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials. Today we are going to be creating this amazing dispersion effect. It will be amazing, easy and fast as quick as possible and we will use Photoshop CS6 Extended. Pay attention, I am using Photoshop CS6 Extended version. So if you are facing some problem in latest version, you just have to try on Photoshop CS6. It will be work smoothly as it works on different versions of uh, actions which I have provided. So let me just show you what we'll create today. So this is a simple image and after getting selection when you apply our effect it will turn into this. Today we will work on this create a selection applying effect this is what we got. So without wasting your time let's just start. Before we start our work you just need to go to windows actions from the actions go to this icon go to load actions you will see that there is a dispersion action folder uh, named file which you have downloaded from uh, my given link from my blog and after that when you will extract that like this there will be a zip file when you will extract there will be a file named atn dispersion action and we will just load that file into our photoshop cs6 as i have already loaded this so what you will do is just close this for the time being create a new layer name this as brush in lowercase then fill the selection with a soft light brush like I have created selection this uh, like it's just a rough selection let me just show you just go to your brushes select a different color size doesn't matter so you just create this like this and if you will select a uh, quick selection tool for uh, creating first sorry first selection okay what the heck is that okay so look at this when you uh, uh, select this one it will create uh, select the uh, side of the uh, we can say our image look at this okay so we just want only this selection okay so when you will select this you will just need previous layer okay uh, delete this name this layer as uh, brush in lowercase okay now go to your brush and uh, select a soft brush hardness should be zero size doesn't matter as I said and just paint it over your photo like this now press ctrl D you have a hard selection you can see that it, it all depends on you okay so now we'll just go to actions uh, we want to uh, disper uh, disperse this uh, in right direction so select right drop down to see what's going on and click play and wait for the process to complete its work during its process you will see that there is a notification call smart filter stacked on top of this filter will not preview while this filter is being edited they will be applied after commenting uh, committing the filter parameters dialog so don't worry about that just click simply ok and it will continue its work so hit ok and wait for the process to complete okay so the process is complete just need to close this higher uh, close this side panel and now you can see that the final output it is pretty much nice I really like this now what you need to do is press ctrl alt and click to close all of this layer at once and we'll just close these effects so you could see what's going on here now what you can edit you can edit almost everything you can just change your colors a anything you can just change it from here uh, that's the original color by the way this is the detail of your image 
this is the particle small particles and the flying particles this is the first this is the second one look at this and these are third okay so different type of things you can apply on this this is the color adjustment layer you can apply different type of colors like this one uh, it, it, it all depends on you how you would like to do be doing so thank you for watching this tutorial uh, the file is given in the description bar so you can easily download that and if it is not working don't be panic you just need to pay attention that this image is in high quality uh, okay let me just show you the image quality uh, image image size from here you can see that it's 1170 uh, by 780 uh, that's its uh, it is its size so it's you can see that it's high definition image so try to use high definition images it could work more easy more fast so uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more videos to be updated for the new videos or new amazing action so we will meet in our next video keep in mind never stop and keep learning